Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in to what is going to be a brand new series on a map called Castle Knob. I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing that right. I have tried my best to get that right because obviously this map is stunning. So this map is made by a team called ME7. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different on here. So I have actually walked up to the castle just to show you guys what my plan is. And what a bloody view this is. It is stunning. Right, so, as you can see, we're pretty much at the top of this village where this castle is set on this map. This is, map is proper nice. Kind of got a bit of a help bail on uh, kind of setting and vibe to it. Definitely set in France. Um... And doing a bit of research on it, it is take, it's not, I don't think it's based on a real place, but it is influenced by a real area in France. But the map itself is stunning. I'm sure plenty of you know about this map, but it's just worth a playthrough. And I wanted to try something different. And what we're going to be doing in this series is we're going to set ourselves up with 5 million. And I have spent a little bit of that just to get one vehicle so I can get around the map. And what we're going to be doing is the patch that you can just see right now. I've actually painted a dirt texture on. We're going to build our own farm. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start off and build ourselves a farm using some pretty cool animal sheds that I've actually got my hands on. Um, they're actually made by the same people that make this map. Now, I did try and do something like this, and I called it Scroftopian Farm, but at that time, it was just bad timing for me personally in my life. You, a lot of you probably know if you've watched the channel before, Kind of took a few months off just just to sort some things out in my personal life and when even though i did that and set that up and it was a really nice farm we're going to try it again but this time around i'm actually going to show you as i build it and how i build it so it is going to be at the start pretty much a series of me building a farm and then we can actually work on it but we're going to start off with five million we're going to get ourselves set up with a decent farm and yeah try ourselves with some you know some good equipment from the start so let's get ourselves down to our vehicle and we can make our way down and we can have a look at this stunning map on the way because yeah it is pretty much breathtaking the amount of detail to it and what I really like as well is the landscape the landscape itself is just perfect it's made me think that when I do my build maybe we should try to do something that's not flat try and mix it up a bit challenge yourself see if we can you know make it I don't know, I don't even know what, what we could do, but we could definitely try something else that's not just a flat farm um, kind of style build. We could try and layer it up and then put put our um, main sheds down first and then obviously kind of smooth around and, and terrain something that'd be pretty decent, but we've got to make it work as well. So yeah, see how we can get on. So I've gone with this old school Volkswagen. It's a T3. I mean, I think it's perfect for this. Um, but yeah, let's get ourselves down. I mean, it is tight around here. A lot of it is walking, but this is a main road that we can obviously drive down from the castle. But yeah, I mean, bloody hell. I can't even see down here. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I can get my camera back. There we go. We'll go third person on this one. And work our way down it. Like you can tell, it's... Stunning. It really is stunning. I mean, I wonder how long it took the map author to make this map. It was, it's crazy. So we're going to have to turn right here. Hopefully we've got good enough turning. Just about. And I think we can make our way down to a main road. That will kind of bring us across a river. And then we're just on the other side. And it's a perfect spot as well because it's actually looking at what we've just come from so we're we're obviously looking down on it and when we're down there we can yeah look um, up at that kind of village that's kind of built where that castle is on top of that i don't even know what you call it but it's uh it's stunning it's done we need to remember we're on the right side of the road we're not in england anymore we're driving on the right side i mean if we just have a quick sneak peek at it now i mean look at that do love maps like that where there's so much detail I think it'll make it really immersive when we're actually you know to the point where we're using the farm and selling stuff because there's a lot of sell points a lot of um, 
production features as well around and this map offers some new types of uh, fruit and crop so interesting to see that in action I think I'm actually sure now but I think I might have to turn left here I think we just go this way we should get across the road uh, yeah this looks like the way Across the bridge. You can see the castle's now up there to our left. And I think I've picked a good spot. I mean, there's, there was a proper placeables area, you could say, so a flat patch of land. Um, and I was going to use that, but it's a bit too far away, and I just thought the view from here was just worth it. I think it's perfect. We've got a few south points that are close to us as well, so I think it's an ideal spot to set up a farm. I am, I am just excited to get hands-on with building a farm, really. Uh, I'm trying to think the best way to get across there. I'm just over there. It might be a shortcut, but I'm hoping there's just a left turn soon. Ah, so I've found the proper way to get. We drive this way. We could have gone to this turn in here, but this is where we need to go. Just down this way, behind this actual... I like cell point area and then all this is where I've decided we're going to build a farm so we're going to have to set it up where we've got some fields at the end of it as well and uh, yeah hopefully we can have a nice you know a few grass fields and I think it's a perfect spot for it look at that for a view stunning we've got a few cell points around like I said nice view and obviously a river just down there and everything. But this is where I want to build. So let me show you in the map exactly what I own. So I own all this plot of land over here. So if we jump up in the air, I'll be able to just show you quickly what it is we're talking about. So pretty much all that area there in between the woodlands, this field, all that field there and that field, and then this. Now this is where I've given myself space to build a farm, but Obviously, we can change out the fields. That's not an issue. If we wanted to like create a grass field at the back and buy some crop fields to the sides, we can always do that. So actually talking about the crop types, you can see that we've got hazelnut, nut, chestnut. Uh, it's chestnut and then chestnut again. And, and we've obviously got alfalfa as well. So some pretty cool things to try out eventually. But let's start off and get this bloody farm built, eh? Because it's going to be interesting to try and figure out i mean i'm not too fussed about the fields at the back obviously we're gonna have to do some ter terrain kind of editing and terraforming or whatever you want to call it i think what we're left with will work out at the end um and figure out fields wise i think the main priority is getting a farm built but i don't want it to be just flat i really don't i think it's going to make more sense to yeah try and make it uh unique in some way so I'm just trying to think what would be the natural slope. It might be better to kind of like have it kind of work upwards and have a point where we look down upon the farm. So what, maybe like a building here that's higher up compared to the rest of that. So let's train something together first. And yeah, it's probably better to kind of visualize what I'm, what I'm saying instead of trying to explain it. Um, but yeah, let's work on this then. So first thing we want to do is we want to lift an area up now like I said we're not fussed about this we can always tidy this up after and we don't need to worry about it we really don't as long as we don't mess up with the actual path area that's the most important bit because obviously they're going to be entrances but we could technically looking at it now we're obviously going to flat flat make it uh, level and then we'll have a slope coming down but what i'm thinking is if we get it higher up at one point we can have a section that kind of slopes down as the track and then we can have like an area looking down so i know it looks a bit messy at the moment but let me just uh 
show you what I'm on about. So if we pick that as the area we want to level out. And just hope this is a big enough spot. Now, I've always wanted to actually build a farm in a series. So I'm hoping this will yeah, work out pretty good. So I think so far what we've done there is all right. I mean, it's a lot higher. We're talking a lot higher. I'm going to have to make it look probably more natural somehow. So we might need like a, third, a second area. Yeah, I think we need a second area that's not as tall. So to do that, what I'm going to do is probably make... Let's lower that down a little bit more. Probably about that, I'd say. So again, we pick this spot. And then we need to try and be very careful on this bit because we need to obviously have a section that whoop, um, yeah, have a section that we can obviously smooth together to make obviously a track going up to that bit. I know this looks crazy. I admit it does right now. But I'm hoping it won't be too bad. So smooth that out a bit. And then... We have obviously got to think about leaving enough space to put some buildings down. So, as you can see, we've got kind of like three layers there. We've got the ground layer, this middle one, and that. And I think that isn't too bad. This is going to be crazy <laughs> if it works out. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy with it. So, we obviously need to put our buildings in to get kind of foot in to terrain around and work out what kind of tracks we're going to put in to get to whatever we need to do so i think it's important now to just pick out these buildings that i want to do now we've got one that i got for pigs and it's pretty bloody cool i have to say so we're going to do pigs and we're going to do cows that's a definite and i think my pigs i'm going to put just trying to look in at this now so there's no entrance there but there is that side, so it's important that we get to either side of this. So what we could do is have the back end facing here, knowing that we're not going to need to worry about that too much. Put that there. I think that's not too bad. We need to obviously smooth out around here, which is fine. So let's go to our cows. Now I have got a few here, but there's one that I've always wanted to use. I'm going to use probably two of these. One is going to be for beef stock, which I've actually shown previously, and is a blinder. It is a blinder. I'm thinking about this. There's a field at the back of this. I'm sure it... So I need to figure this out because we've got a feeling it's going to want to... Go out. I'm sure this goes out to a field... Yeah, that might not be the wisest thing to put there. Hmm. Where is the other one? This is an absolute beast of a cow shed. It really is. So, let's think where we could put this one. Right, so I've just leveled this out a little bit. Just to try and make it an easier job for us when it comes to placing this cow shed down. But I'm actually going to place the cow shed down here. I'm probably going to have an entrance here, cow shed here, and then up here I'm thinking we could use for like storage. So maybe bales and maybe another cow shed. So let's have a look what we got here. So I think I might actually go for the one I said because I do like that. And it is a beef, <laughs> yeah, a beefy bloody shed that offers quite a lot. So there we go, that's that. Place down quite happily. And then at the back we could have a bit of grass maybe, cow sh uh, like a pasture of some sort. Yeah, that has actually got a big, a big uh, field on the side. 
of that one. So that's pretty cool. So let's have a look at the other cow sheds that I was on about. There is a few like for fattening. So this one's obviously got for breeding and it's got an area at the back. Um, I mean, it'd be good if I could get them so they'd go down, but I think that's going to be a bit too much for them because we, we can't go to the highest point on that one. So where is my other ma 7 sheds? This is a calf stall. So that'd be pretty cool. I have calves in here. Right, so we've got a place for a milkers. We're going to need a place for beef stock. And we're also going to need a place for kind of like in between. So if the heifers or if the like young stock cows are not going to be fed the same, just somewhere to hold a few extra cows. Now, this is perfect. It holds 20. I have actually used it before again. Like I previously mentioned, it isn't a bad shed at all. So what I'm thinking is we're obviously going to come through at some point. An entrance wise um, maybe maybe we could have them sitting on the back end of here and obviously we're gonna expand this out but it'd be making a nice little wall in between and if we can get it so that bit there is an entrance into a field that'd be pretty cool so let's just place that there and see what that looks like I know we're gonna have to like I said ter terrain form the best we can after um, but that's that's pretty cool so we've got a calf stall, but it only holds 12. So I don't know if that's going to be any good because it's just too little. We can have the igloos lying around as well. So that's probably better to do. Uh, this is 35 and actually got a nice space to it. But I think if I'm going to do it, I'm going to have to go with this one because this is one hell of a cow shed. It's, it is pretty, pretty beefy. No pun intended. <laughs> so maybe at this point we can have, if we're having an entrance down this section, maybe one down that section, we could look at placing another cow barn there. I think that's pretty good. So we've got all our cow sheds in. We've got a pig area in. So what we need now is a few sheds. So let's work on getting, yeah, some sheds for some, some storage. So I like these because they're obviously MA7 as well. So kind of like set for the map. And I've got a feeling that if we put the back end against the road, that might be pretty good. Probably want to leave a little bit of space. So that is a good one for storage for tractors or anything like that. So there's another one here that's pretty cool. We can put bales in, equipment, anything. Don't think I need to get too far to that. I'm hoping there isn't a trigger there. So just in case there is, we'll leave a bit of space. So that's another one. So we obviously need a few here. We're going to need a couple like this one. That's perfect. We've got plenty of storage on that one. I like that. I do like that. Maybe that way, though. Try and get it parallel with that road. So this is definitely a different style of obviously series that we've ever done so hopefully by the end you'll see this farm and think yep this is going to be pretty cool i'm hoping so anyway so that's that got three cow sheds a little bit of storage down here but we we're going to need some much bigger storage aren't we over on this area so thinking of bales at some point somewhere like would be nice up there but this one what we could do with this one is have it going across the other side to where the pigs are. So that's pretty cool. That's the equivalent, but just a different, obviously, call it. That's this one. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it, as well? Just trying to get an inside view of that. It's not bad, is it? I don't mind that at all. 
So... Right, we'd need to leave too much... It won't fit there, because I'm thinking if we need a track going this way and up there as well. So that's not going to be a, a very good idea. Uh, I'm thinking about that. Could be just like grass grassland area. So I think we just need a big shed now to store bales in. That kind of looks like it was meant to be. We don't want it to be out of place or look like it's got a different style to it. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's a garage with workshop, so that's that's not bad at all. I'd say that that's probably best, maybe in this corner. We need to probably leave it off the middle a bit because we don't want it to, to go off the edge <laughs> and mess things up for us. So well, that's a, an all right shed, but I don't think that's suited. That looks nice, though. I do like that. So if we come up here... And we can go directly through there, but... Um, just trying to think. I mean, we could have... We could have it there, but... Um, just trying to think. Does it suit there? And if we need to drive through one way to another... I mean, it does look like a door, that does. So you could go but I mean it's perfect for like hay storage and straw I actually like it I think it, it I think it goes well so let's try and let's try and just place it a little bit further back so we've got more space yeah you can see that it definitely needed that right so I think that's so far pretty good we've got Everything we need over here. We've got slurry there for these cows. So far, we've got all our sheds in. So, I think we're good for storage. I think we're good for storage. So, what we need now is things like silo, bunkers. Um, and we need, obviously, storage for crop. So, let's have a look at what we've got. What are our options? So, this is for actual corn and dry corn. I do like that. It's something I've never used before, but it's an MA7 building, so we could plonk it down somewhere, surely. Maybe that's a good spot for a bunker, though. Tell you what, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that, just in case we haven't got enough room. But we do need a bunker. Maybe a couple of bunkers, to be honest. There's the maze plus one there. Store... This is for straw. You've got a small MA7 bunker there. This is my only problem with it. The fact that I can't... You know, some are really not happy, are they? I don't know why that is. There'll be a reason for that, why giants have that set up like that. But a lot of the bunkers I have noticed are... Yeah, a bit strange, put it that way. See, I do like that one. I think that's really nice. It's like a drive through one. But... I mean, we could have it here and then have a track. We're definitely going to have a track around here. It's just the, the angle. The angle's completely off. And I don't think they're all like that. I'm sure some of them allow you to store properly. I do like that, though, for a farm silo. And that's pretty nice. It's old. It doesn't look like it's shiny and brand new. It's got this one here. Which would be pretty cool as well. Bit of storage. But I think. I'm not too certain on that one. Even this one. Even this one. Why would that have a turning? Why would that not be allowed for me to just turn it properly all the way around? Bit strange. 200 on this one. Proper grain salad that is. Do like that one. Hmm. Difficult choices. I think, so far, this one's probably my favourite one. I don't know what that thing is, though. It's like it's something hovering, hovering above it. Have you seen that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. But no, I actually like this one. I do like this. I think it's uh, 
pretty decent. So where could we plonk this? I'm starting to think that maybe down the back end we should have a few silos. So we're not taking up too much space. I mean, this is a decent yard area. But we've got to think of the track and where we're putting it. So we've got, we're obviously going to go left. We don't really need to go right past that point. But we obviously need to get here. And then we need to go up here. So really, I think that's blocking us off so far. So that's that space done. This can be a track coming from that one to there. So we've still got this field intact. Um, yeah, we can go up there. This is obviously going to all change. I don't mind using, because obviously we need to sort this out, because this is pretty crazy. But I don't mind having a track that goes around here and then down to this area. So really, this is pretty much the only spot we've got. So let's do a bit more landscaping. Try and smooth out some of this. Because it's starting to... Yeah, look a bit dodge. Right, so I've just finished off kind of like terraforming and sloping. And this is what I've finished with. So you, you can get a better understanding now of what I kind of was trying to visu visualize. Um, but yeah, you can see that it's like kind of like three layers. So you've got this first layer here coming in to the farm. Um, I do need to sort out that. That still needs a bit more of that kind of like um, rocky texture at the bottom there because it's not leather leveled off but it does help getting ground level because in the actual editing tool when you're obviously using the paint texture kind of miss bits so it is good to get down in the ground and just figure out how like low the slope is or how high it is like this is a bit of a slope but it works it's not like the buildings when you get up here you can't get into the sheds so that's good pig area is fine that needs a bit more texture there. Probably need to put a bit of texture on this side as well. But you can see that I've got a nice flat level over here for the silo. And yeah, it's actually looking pretty good. I'm happy with it so far. A lot of work to, st to do still. But I love this slope bit that I've done here. So working our way up to the pigs area. But then obviously if we want to get back up over here, might need a bit of a texture there as well. That's too much of a swing, so... It kind of visualizes as well for us to make a bit of a deeper turn going into there. And then obviously we're up to this point where we can, yeah, use this area. So I actually think it looks pretty good. It's definitely better than what it was when it started. And you can see that I'm building, you know, definitely not a flat farm as well. But we've got some decent sheds. And there's obviously going to be, you know, a lot of work when it comes to animals but we're going to need bunkers we're going to need a silo i think we need more than one bunker i'm going to put two decent sized bunkers in um and then obviously we'll put anything in after when we've placed the fundamentals down to kind of make it feel a bit more like a farm but let's carry on with the textures let me just show you what i was doing obviously i can't do everything um in the video straight up or else the videos would be just dead along and i wouldn't actually get through the build and i do want to do probably like four or five episodes maybe and then start farming. I don't want it just to be a, a farm build series. I want to actually get farming with what we make. But I want to show you how I make it. Because normally I'd just make this. And then obviously I'd start my series off. And say this is a farm I've built and so on. But we don't want to do that this time. We want to showcase how I'm building it. So if anyone gets any ideas from it. You know it will help out. So I do think that that probably needs to be smoothed off into another texture there I'm trying to figure out what the best ground texture to use as well because we've got a dirt at the moment but we can obviously use a bit of that a bit of that so eventually we're going to obviously paint the roads in um, but what to use is a, a, a good question i like that texture i do and that'd be nice to put on edges so you could obviously have you know little bits of kind of like worn area where grass or moss is growing through on the rock um, this is grass as well, so that's really nice. That is pretty decent. Then we can put a bit of grass on top of that as well to try and make it look a bit good. But, I mean, by the time we finish with this, it'll look really good. But there's a lot of work still to do. Uh, but, yeah, what texture do you think? Let me know in the comment section what would be good for the roads. I'm using this one currently, which is like just a dirt texture. That was like to build on. We've got this, which is obviously like a concrete kind of look. Well, it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's basically concrete. 
Um, we've got some forest ground that we're not going to use. But don't get me wrong, we could use forest ground uh, anywhere, really. So even on the rocky bits, you could use a patch of that and make it, a, you know, a bit of grass, a bit of moss kind of thing. Um, but gravel, gravel's not a bad one always, is it, to use? It's not bad at all. Um, animal mud will be good, obviously, outside the pastures. So you can put a bit like that, just knocking about at the side or in front, really branching off like you know kind of wear or tractor coming in and out obviously builds up i mean i'm not going to keep this like so it's just giving you an idea of where we can go with it uh, but i do want to try and get as creative as possible and and obviously build something that i'm really happy with at the end so you know, let's finish off doing these textures i mean we just want to make it this pretty much carry on let's see i do like that yeah that's fine Maybe a bit less there. Don't need that one. See, that's not bad. It kind of like blends in okay. Not sure about that one, but if we put a bit of grass on it, it might look all right. But we'll just take it out for the moment. But yeah, I'm trying to basically kind of level it off so the road feels like it fits well, or the, the track. So you're, not, you're not obviously not going to have a track if it's too inclined or too, too much of a decline. You know, that's going to be like the rocky area that we've built into. So part of me thinks that maybe that was a bit too far out, but when I'm actually walking on, on or, or using a tractor, yeah, that might not be, I'm trying to think, probably like if we cut it maybe there, that might be the best bet, a bit more in on that side. Let's tidy this up so you can visualize it a little bit better. I think that's probably better now. So let's have a look. I mean, there's still a bit of a bump, but it's not too bad. And yeah, that's definitely, definitely better. Moving our way up through this area. I'm quite happy with that. Yep, that's not too bad at all. Not too bad. So we needed to fix this part, though, because there was a section there that's a bit... You know, it's definitely got what I'd call a, should be a rocky area. So let's paint that in quickly. So we want to start it probably from where it's uneven. So I'd say like that there would probably be fine. All right. Yeah, like that, I'd say. Maybe even further in on that because it isn't even at all, is it? That's probably too far on that, but we could. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's not too bad at all, is it? Again, pretty decent. I mean, obviously, you're going to be putting things like grass down and everything, so it kind of hides a lot of it. So, you know, you're probably going to have a grass on the edge of this. Even if you had a track in and we build the track in, we put gravel down, whatever we decide to put down. It's not going to be this dirt texture anyway we can put grass on the edges so it tidies it up a lot and obviously makes it blend in well so it kind of feels like it is natural because you can see that there's a bit there but maybe that is a bit of a grassy verge so we could go with this one here like this for example kind of like make a, the edge of it a triangle of grassy verge uh maybe can even blend in some of this with it as the texture but then when we get to planting we can have in here some of the meadow grass and it's you know just kind of spotted around so now it doesn't look as out of place does it and obviously if you've got a track with grass either side like that you know you can see that it starts to look pretty natural i also think a really good trick is like like i've done here i've obviously point put in this texture but if you just put just a touch on top of it it feels real now there is a mod that i'm gonna have to activate which kind of you can set the growth of the paint texture grass if that makes sense so cut first stage second stage and so on so obviously you're probably not going to have too much long grass on edges because obviously you know your tractor's going up and down so you'd make that shorter but 
on these, you would make it long because obviously it's just le left to grow. So things like that make a difference as well. So, so we'll definitely get that. I'll definitely get that mod activated so we can mess about with that. I mean, that probably is... If we're going to make a track down here, which I am, we probably have gone a bit too far there. So let's kind of like straighten it off here, I'd say. But then we want to look at the ground and uh, uh, sculpt in. We want to try and level it off as best we can, which might mean I'm going to have to level through like that. It's just obviously there's going to be a ditch there. So really what we should be doing is leveling from that point. There we go. Try and nudge that forward a bit more. It doesn't matter how much of a kind of hill bit this is. We've painted it as rock, so it's going to look all right anyway. But we do need to make sure we've got... Gone over again. Yeah, we've got this flat and smoothed out for when we travel this way. I think that's all right. It's just this edge, isn't it? It seems like it's dipped down. Hmm. So maybe, maybe this is the point I need to get it level on. It's uh, it's it's probably going to be a bumpy track, that is, unfortunately. Yeah. As long as we can smooth it out so it's actually drivable, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Not the smoothest, but it means we can make a track, and we've obviously got... A track either coming out of the farm to the road there, making a way up there. It really doesn't matter. We can set it going any way it wants. This could even be fenced off, and this would just be grass growing. And then we could just have our main entrance coming in here, which obviously allows us to go up and over to this section, but then down over here as well, which is where we're going to be probably heading to do field work around the back or something. I mean, we could just have this as grasslands and then do some arable fields somewhere else that might be a good idea let's carry on putting in our obviously main buildings because by the end of this episode i want to just have everything fundamental in place so we've got enough sheds i'm quite happy with that we obviously need a bunker uh, and a silo so we've picked the silo we're going to put in which is until i find it we're gonna have this one i think this one looks pretty good now we could have it where we drive through it on this side, like that. That's not a bad idea. As long as it keeps that level, doesn't mess anything up, I'm happy. So that's fine there. It gives us our uh, silo, which is, yeah, I think that's all right. Um, we need a bunker, though. We definitely need a bunker. That's massive, so we don't need one that big. But I'm thinking maybe two. Now, I do really like these drive through ones, and that's a big bunker. Now, I don't use them often. But what I'm thinking is, we've obviously got all this section here. It is just such a shame that I can't... Yeah, it's just a shame, isn't it, that I can't get it level across like that. But I'm thinking, like, if we put it there, we could have us running this way, running out the farm there, or we could have it like that, which is an exit out to the grass field. Hmm. I mean, ideally, I'd want it just go across horizontal kind of like the same way that all these buildings are facing kind of like left to right from what you're seeing but i'm not sure i'm not sure i really aren't it's a nice bunker as well i kind of do want one of these drive through ones though and even if we got another one that wasn't as big just say this for example and we could find a spot to place that that's not too bad as well We've got to think as well where we're going to be putting a track. So I think this area here is free for, for us to build in. And it shouldn't impact us too much. So I think we go from here. I think we pick what we want. Think of a good direction going in. Because we could buy the grass fields over here. You know, anything like a maize field over there. So he's going to probably come this way. If we do have grass fields there, he's going to probably come that way. Um, I think if we put it like this, it wouldn't be too much of an issue. So let's put that there like that. I like that. That really is a nice bunker. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, but we are going to need another one. 
don't think we need one. That's that's a good idea, isn't it? Having it to the back of it facing that one. Can we fit it though? So it gives us this track still. Maybe a smaller one. There we go. Look at that. So we've got two bunkers. We've still got a track going up here. It does kind of edge out a bit, but we could maybe... Yeah, thinking about it, what what we could do... I do like that, though. I think that's pretty sweet, but I'm going to remove this out. And I'm going to place it again. Wherever she is. Have we gone past it? Right, so where can we place this now? I'm thinking we can't go there because that'll be in the way of our entrance over there. But there's no reason why we can't put it as if it's a straight drive out. I don't really see anywhere else we can place it on here. We don't want it impacting on anything. That's going to be a problem. Now this is going to be hopefully kind of some kind of pasture that we can set our cows out even in this area so yeah I think what's best here is to try and just have it where it doesn't impact too much now we could put it there but I think it's too close to our silage bunkers so let's see if we can just make it we got to think that it is going to train the ground we don't want to mess up what we've done because we've have, we've got some slopes going on here. This is a tricky one to place. So maybe just moving it backwards might be a good idea. And having a track that goes in, then out again. <laughs> I didn't mean to place that. <laughs> Let's try that again. So maybe like here, for example. But then what we do is we get a painting tool. And let's say... This is the actual track texture that we've picked. We can have it go in, obviously, like that. And then, obviously, you've got a track down there. And our bunkers are over here. We should probably repaint that, just, just so it looks right now like it makes a bit more sense. I know I'm going to tidy this up, but they're obviously too, too wide, let's say the textures um, we've got this as well so I like that because we can come either side and we can make it actually to the road that might need a bit of uh, smoothing out let's just do this one as well okay so that's not too bad at all and then obviously we've got over here a way to go out and we can put a bit of grass down there whatever just to make it look better but then we've also got from this point another entrance so you can see my idea we'll obviously use different textures to make a road we're just using this plain dirt at the moment when we finish off it won't obviously look like that um, but I, I think it's alright for, for the fundamentals let's just say uh, we should probably Put that back to what, what it was. And then we'll just level off there until we figured out what we're doing. But that's that's my idea. I think that's not bad at all, is it? I'm quite happy with that. And then th we need to still figure out this. So what we'll do is we'll place this grass. We'll get rid of the grass texture that's there because... I think we're going to need to put something there. You can see that that is going to be need need to be grass, but currently we'll just do this, just to kind of give us an idea of where we're needing to go to with the uh, yeah the ground textures and our buildings, and I think that has to at least be out to probably here. And again, ah, didn't mean to do that. So let's put finish tidy that up a bit.
And then I think it's that texture. No, nope, it's not that one. Let's go to that one. Nope, that one. Yeah, there we go. So that is pretty much the boundary then, what I will call the farm. And it's got the fundamentals in. Now, obviously, there is a lot to do. There is a lot of tidying up to do with texture painting, decorations. You know, we're going to have to put things down as well that we're going to need, like fuel tank, anything along them lines. But I think we've got the fundamentals in place. We've, uh, yeah, that's smooth enough. Yeah, we've uh, made it look pretty good. I'm quite happy with this so far. That's smooth enough. Obviously, we're going to have to figure this out because that yeah, cow should be able to roam out. I think. I think they roam out. I know in there they don't, so that's fine. But it would be nice to have some grass area. Especially with that. I'm not entirely sure what that is. But that's going to be beef stock. That's going to be our dairy cattle. We've got um, some a space over here to put some more stock in. We're going to find an area to put, obviously, igloos. We could just line them up over here for our calves. So we've got beef stock which we can keep the young beef stock in as well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, calves are obviously going to be separated, so let's just say we put calves here. Got another shed for cows there. Pigs, plenty of space for milkers. I think we're doing all right. We've got enough storage, surely. That storage area, that one. That one over there. We've got another one over here. And then we've got two over here. And I think we've got enough to put some bales in over there. But we could also put like a bale pad down to put any silage bales that we've got. But yeah, fundamentals are in place. I'm quite content with that. Silo extensions if we needed to put anything else in. Don't really need to worry about that or manure at the moment. The last thing though we definitely need to do is find a suitable farmhouse that kind of looks like it's in the right area. That looks a bit battered for my liking. Just something that's uh, yeah pretty decent. That's definitely not the right one, is it? I mean, that's a UK farmhouse, but it doesn't look too bad and out of place, does it? Like, looking at the buildings up there, it's a... Maybe that one. Maybe that one. I think it actually fits pretty well. Let's have a look. I think that's probably better. Yeah, that's, that's definitely more suited, even though I like the look of that one. I mean, we could do. Why not? Let's go with that one. I actually like the look of that. I'm just trying to think if there's a better way of placing this. I mean, we could have the entrance coming from there. But no, we need that We need that garage, don't we? So yeah, let's, uh, let's put it originally how I was going to do it. I hope that it fits well. <laughs> So, is that messed terrain up, or I think it might have edged it out that side, but let's just see if we can finish off by cleaning that up. We don't want to mess up our terrains at the moment, not when we've uh, spent loads of time sorting them out. Maybe just smooth that section out. There is a... Uh, yeah, that's that's not ideal, is it? So what I need to do there is slope it. Come on. There we go. So if we smooth it out now, that should be all right. So if we just tidy up the paint, I think we're, we're pretty much... On the home stretch, I'll have to forget about that side door. And we can we can tidy like I said, the texture painting we're not really focusing on too much. I put the the kind of like rock texture painting just so you could get an understanding of how it's gonna end up looking and you can also it helps you visualize the slopes that you've put in. So that seems to work a treat. Um if we just tidy this up so it kind of looks all right so far 
Um, I think, you know what, I actually think that's not too bad. I really don't think that's bad at all. We'll put different textures in in them buildings anyway. As long as we can get to them. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's not too bad at all. I think the last thing to do would be to turn off our uh, flight mode, go to our vehicle and just have a look just to see if there's anything. Like, that's not ideal, but as long as we can drive in here, we might need to smooth out some of that, which we can tidy up quickly enough. Because it's about just making a slope down. So if that's our entrance, for example, from this point we turn in, it needs to be a smooth slope in. You're obviously going to have edges at the sides, which is fine bit like we've got down there but we can just grass all that off and make a fence um so it's not actually an area you'd get to and then this here can still be a good enough spot to park a car so i like that let's have a look at the slope down here so yeah we just need smoothing that side but that's not a bad slope is it works a treat then we've got a big cow shed can have a quick look in Ooh, there you go we've got a nice parlor in there and everything so that's going to be for a milkers. Big cow shed. Loads of storage. That slope's not too bad. I just need to tidy this bit off here. That definitely needs a bit more rocky texture. There we go. Massive, isn't it, that one? Slurry pit. We've got our other cow shed over here. Which is pretty good. And then we move up to this. Which is going to be another cow area fattening whatever we want to do. I like this bunker area and you can see that it's pretty level. We've not got any problems with our slopes there. This is again nice. Nicely done. I actually think that's pretty good, you know. I'm actually really happy with that. And what a view. What a view. So let's go back into flight mode and just get a good look at it. I'm really happy with that, you know. I think that this turned out better than I could have hoped for at the start. There's a lot of work left to do, but I think that's pretty decent for the first episode. And I'm hoping by the end, give me five episodes, we'll have a decent farm built here. Probably even before five episodes. And we can start farming on it. And uh, yeah, what a spot to build a farm. I mean, wouldn't this be a dream in real life? <laughs> Having £5 million and just building a farm the way you like it. But on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you've enjoyed it, and if you like the idea of the series, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you tune into the next one. We'll carry on this build and we'll get it done so we can eventually proper farm on this map, but in a custom way with our own kind of farm setting. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.